Hey YouTubers, this is Ben with True Cable, and today we're going to talk about fiber color coding. We're going to look at the 12 different primary fiber colors, as well as we're going to look at the different connector colors and how those are identified, the cable colors, and then we're also going to look at the different buffer tube colors, and those follow along with the 12 fiber color coding. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back. <music> So as we mentioned, we're going to look at the different fiber color codes. To start out with, we're going to look at the 12 fiber colors. Those are the most important 12 fiber colors that are used throughout the fiber color coding system. And these are going to be used in variations depending on if it's going to be single mode, if it's going to be multi-mode, the type of connector used, if you're going to be using pigtails, if you're going to be pulling in multiple strands of fiber, you're going to have variations of this. But these are the core colors. And those core colors are blue, orange, green, brown, slate, white, red, black, yellow, purple, pink, and aqua. So those are your 12 core colors. Now, to make up a 24 strand, 48 strand, some of these larger strand cables. Essentially what they do is they take those 12 colors and they'll add a stripe or a line or things like that to, to identify the differences between them. But those are going to be your 12 core colors. We've got pigtails, as you can see here. We've got MTP cables, and then we've got actual patch cords, LC and SC patch cords that we offer. If we turn to the buffer tubing themselves, we can see here in these primary colored pigtails, we have all 12 fiber colors, but that sometimes could be a just a six fiber. And so you'd have the first six fiber colors. When it comes to the color coding of the cable itself, we can look at some of these cables we have laid out here. And here we have MTP cables and patch cords. So if we were to look at this MTP cable, we see a violet color. And so violet now is identified as an OM4 multi-mode cable. And we could also see that the connector end itself is violet. And so that helps us to identify OM4 as the multi-mode type of cable it is. Now, if we look at this one, this is aqua, and this is essentially the exact same type of cable. This though is identified as OM4 and as OM3 type of cable. So we at True Cable have decided that we're gonna use the aqua as the OM3 color, and we're going to use the violet as the OM4. Now we do offer the aqua in the OM4 as well, but it's much nicer and easier to identify by using that violet color. The next thing we want to look at is the connector type. So if we look at the connector itself, we'll see that those connectors will oftentimes have various different types of colors. So as you can see here, this is a violet color connector. So that stands for the OM4 multi-mode fiber, as well as the cable itself. But there's something different in the single mode side of things. So if we look at this single mode MTP cable, for example, the cable itself is yellow, which that helps us to identify that it's single mode. But if we look at the connector, we can see that the connector is green. Now that's a little different than the others. Well, green on a connector in fiber optics always signifies that it's an APC connector. So that's a very clear indication of the type of connector we have when it's green. Green equals APC. Now there are some connectors out there, some manufacturers who are making single mode fiber optic connectors, MTP specifically, with yellow connectors. Those have a really low insertion and return loss specification, as well as ours do have that same specification. And they're starting to use a, a yellow color to make that indication. Green has always been the industry standard for APC. And so we continue to use that color. Now you can see in these bags here as well, We've got pigtails of various different types. The 12th color coding for the pigtails are all the same as we outlined earlier, but you'll notice in this bag here, you'll have green and that stands for the APC and that's an SC connector. So that's an SC APC. If we look in this one here, we'll have the LC connector. And so that's also green. So we know that's an APC connector. And then over here, a little bit different. We have single mode pigtails, but the connector is blue. So that's where you have, we have a differentiation. Now that we know that that connector is blue, we know that that's not APC. We know it's a UPC type of polish and it's a totally different type of connector versus the, the APC. So 
Color coding in fiber optics is extremely important. It helps in organizing, it helps in administration of your fiber optic cabling system. Everything in terms of organization and, and laying out your cabling system is extremely important using this color coding system for fiber optics. It helps installers to be able to plan out their system, know when and if a certain connector needs to be changed out. The installer may come in and have to make some ads and changes. He can quickly be able to identify the correct cabling that needs to go there and make those changes. So all of these different types of fiber optic cabling that we carry at True Cable offer this type of fiber color coding system, making it very easy for an installer to use, to identify, and, and easily install their fiber optic system. So if you enjoyed this video, please uh, like, subscribe, give a thumbs up, and as always, happy networking. Before the time runs out, if you enjoyed this video, head to our website below, check out our Cable Academy. If you're looking for some new videos, check them out next to me. Thanks for watching.